Also tonight, 2 News has learned that property values in Montgomery County are expected to plummet by nearly $2 billion. Now, while that may seem like just a number to some, it adds up to real problems for many homeowners. So we decided to take a closer look into what this drop in value means for you. Jordan Burgess, live and on your side with the massive impact. All it takes is a stroll down your street to see the effects of the plunging property values in places like Moraine here for sale signs are growing faster than the grass. Only these will be a lot harder to get rid of. You can measure the value of this Ariel Avenue house by its three bedrooms or its two car garage. But for Marie Casella, the home represents something else, the freedom to start over. I can't take the house at a loss or I don't want to buy again, but I got to have something out of here so I can eat, at least afford to move. But getting a buyer for the place hasn't been easy. And this morning, the Montgomery County Auditor confirmed what many homeowners are finding out the hard way that property values have taken a huge hit. You'd have to go back to the days of the Great Depression to see these types of, of declines. The numbers are staggering. About three out of every four homes in Montgomery County decreased in value. Even in communities like Oakwood and Centerville, values dropped. And it doesn't look like there's much relief in sight. The housing market in this community, in my opinion, is not going to bounce back and uh, see big appreciation in values for some time. In fact, Keith says the last time we saw drops this big during the Great Depression, it took 19 years for values to return to previous levels. But Marie and many other motivated sellers out there don't have that kind of time. I've got so many amenities in here and nobody is just, they're just not biting. And if you want to see the property value drop in your community, just go to our website, WDTN.com, and be sure to click on the On Your Side tab. Now, if you're a homeowner in Montgomery County, you'll actually get a form like this in about mid to late July, and it will actually tell you what your new property value is. But this is only part of the equation. Join us coming up at 530 to find out why this could mean trouble for cities and schools. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on Your Side.